Can you talk a little bit about, you know, I know you mentioned that you go to a non-denominational church now, but some of those standards you try to hold yourself to and some of the ways you try to show up every single day. Standards, you know, things that I hold myself up to. I don't always live up to those, though. But the thing that I really try to aspire to do is to give people as much grace and give myself as much grace as I give other people. I don't want to be judged on my worst day. Just for instance, I had something really embarrassing happen to me a couple of weeks ago. I don't know if you've ever sent the wrong message to the wrong text thread on your phone. I did. So I had been, presumably, I thought I was sending a message to my college girlfriends. We have known each other for 25 years. And like, we kind of talk like truckers and sailors to one another. Okay. Even though we went to a Christian school, we love each other. Like we know everything about one another. And we were having the funniest conversation on this text thread. And they were asking why I couldn't get together. And I was explaining to them what was happening. We were super busy. But one of my son, my middle child, he has been having basketball tournaments and his coach was scheduling them at the last second. And so I would jokingly sent something to them about, you know, this is why I can't get together because his coach is, continues to schedule these tournaments out of the blue. Well, I accidentally sent that message to a different chain. And the chain that I sent it to was my son's coach and all the parents. (laughs) And I literally, I realized it right away. And I was like, oh my gosh, I put my phone in airplane mode, hoping that it didn't go through. And it went through and it was really embarrassing. I threw my phone down and I walked away and I was like, I have literally no idea how I'm going to redeem this situation. Cause I couldn't just say, oh, I said the wrong thing because I followed it up with, hey, by the way, I'm doing CrossFit. So like, clearly I'm talking to my friends. And I just thought, you know what? I told my son what happened. And I said, look, that's probably not the best moment for your mother. Not one of my finer moments. I don't want to be judged in that moment, my entire character, because I know who I am. My friends know who I am. Those who know me know who I am. I don't want that one thing to define me. So guess what? I want to be the type of person that doesn't allow one thing to define others. I want to give other people the same amount of grace that I give myself and give myself the same amount of grace that I'm giving other people and not allowing just that one thing to define that. But it was mortifying and it was embarrassing and it was a great reminder of the type of life that I want to live. I'm a flawed, failed human being. I do stupid stuff. We all do stupid stuff. And I realize that about myself and I realize that about other people. I don't want to be that judgmental person that judges and assassinates somebody's character and judges them on one thing. So I'm just trying to be full of grace for myself and for other people. 